All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Dark Mountain, 1944. I'm giving it five out of five stars. I love this flick. This is going to be another cult cinema classics flick. I will post the link in the description space <clears throat> under the actors' names. It's got our favorite Batman, Robert Lowry. It's also got the great Elisha Cook Jr., who was in The Killing. He was great in The Killing. And last but not least, it's got Brian Folger from The She Creature. Dark Mountain is a 1944 U.S. film noir crime film. We like film noir on this channel. Directed by William Burke. This is a great black and white film noir. Right up there with Out of the Past, uh, Double Indemnity, those kind of movies. Uh, what else? Uh, I can't think of the name of the other one. <laughs> the Killing. The Killing is a great film noir. <clears throat> it's also known as Thunderbolt and Thunder Mountain. When forest ranger Don Bradley manages to rescue two horses from burning to death inside a building during a forest fire, he gets promoted to head of the Dark Mountain area. So Batman punched his supervisor, and he got promoted. <laughs> That's the only movie where I've ever seen that happen. His, uh, his supervisor didn't want him to rescue the horses, but he punched his supervisor. He rescued the horses. Then his supervisor promoted him. His friend Willie gets to follow him as his assistant. His first week off on furlough, Don goes to see his girlfriend Kay, and he asks her to marry him. The problem is but she tells him she can't since she just married a merchant named a merchant named Steve Downey. Crush, Don returns to Dark Mountain. Kay finds out that the man she married is a racketeer, not a merchant, operating on the black market. He's trading stolen goods. He's using his business as a fence for something. Nefarious. One day, a government agent, Dave Lewis, arrives to investigate Steve's business. He's killed by one of Steve's goons. They throw a box on his head, and the body is dropped in the middle of the road to make it look like he had has accidentally run over. Everything is off camera, by the way, all the violence. Kay decides to, <laughs> to leave. Her. You have to use your imagination in this one, and it's pretty brutal. Kay decides to leave her husband but he doesn't let her go. She is present and witness to when Steve kills one of his own men that he suspects have told the police about the operation. Steve then flees and, and Steve brings Kay with him. He tells her that she is a criminal too, being an accomplice in the racketeering since her name is on the contract for the warehouse. She's on the lease to the warehouse where he's, Fencing all these stolen goods. When Steve decides they will split up to easier get away from the police, Kay decides, Kay goes to Don for protection and advice. He gives her shelter in one of the mountain cabins, but he tells her to go to the police as soon as possible. Steve manages to track Kay to the mountain, mountain cabin and he tells Kay he will kill her if she reveals to anyone that he is there. The plot thickens. Don brings Kay food every day and Don soon realizes that she is not alone in the cabin. We're talking about Don Badman. Don and Willie plan a trap to catch Steve without risking harm to Kay. Over the shortwave radio, they send a fake message that the police believe they are closing in on the fugitive near the Mexican border to lure Steve out of hiding. Steve leaves the cabin, but he brings Kay with him again. He steals Don's truck full of explosives, and he drives off. 
This is the fun kind of serial car chase scene from the old serials from the 1930s. Uh, William Willie's dog catches up with shortly. Oh, Brian Folger was not in the sea creature. I was thinking of the last movie. Brian Folger was in Dick Tracy, which is another great serial. He was in uh, chapters one and 12, I think. Anyways, Willie's dog catches up with the truck shortly. I don't know how that dog is able to run as fast as a truck, but okay. Willie's dog catches up with the truck shortly after they leave. The dog jumps in. I don't know how, that, how that's possible. It's like a wonder dog. It's like uh, Lenny the Wonder Dog. Anyways. Uh, the dog, Willie's dog starts attacking Steve during the drive. While the truck is still moving, Kay and the dog jump out through the door. And Willie flattens the tires with his guns. The truck goes off the road and it explodes with Steve still in it. So there you have it. The film was based on the original script called Thunder Mountain by Dean Franklin and Charles Royal. It brought it bought by Pine Thomas Productions in January 1944 as a vehicle for Chester Morris. Morris, however, went into a film at Columbia, The, the Adventure of Jim Burke, and he was replaced by Regis Toomey. Helen Walker was going to play the fem female lead, but she went into a broad with two Yanks, and she was replaced by Ellen Drew. It was Ellen Drew's first film for a while. Dick Purcell died of a heart attack shortly after, shortly before he was supposed to make the film. He was replaced by Carol Nye, who made the short Soldiers of the Soil for Pine Thomas. Filming started... April 9th, 1944. And my son is shaking the table with his foot. <laughs> He's giving the earthquake effect to my video. <laughs> All right. So let me... Um, can I edit this while I... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can edit this while I'm uh, doing my video stream, my live stream. Watch the movie for free here. Okay, I just posted the link. There's nobody in the chat room, so it didn't matter. <laughs> it says changes saved. That's pretty cool. I can make changes to my video during my live stream. I just realized I could do that. I never paid attention to that edit button before. <laughs> All right, let's go down my list. I said I, I wasn't going to get through this, but it was only like 56 minutes long. I got lucky. Let's do the list. This will take about five minutes. <laughs> then my son probably has to go pee. Do you have to go pee? Well, he's not listening. <laughs> he's got his earbuds going. I think he did his uh, his homework. I don't know why we couldn't have gone to uh, Latin Mass, and he could have done his homework after Latin Mass. But uh, anyways, I got two reviews in, so that was good. <laughs> All right, next up is the Crater Lake Monster, 1977, the Giant Spider Invasion, Stick, 1985, Karate Man recommended that, and uh, <laughs> actually, Adrian had already mentioned it many uh, many months ago, I think, <clears throat> might have been a few months ago, but it's kind of funny whenever. Uh, Whenever Karate Man 
mention something. Uh, <laughs> Adrian will go, yeah, I've already seen that. Like the Roddy Piper movie at the end of my list here. <laughs> All right, The Forest, 1982. Phantom from Space, 1953. The Dungeon of Haro, 1962. The Amazing Mr. X, 1948. Damnation Alley, 1977. Shadow Warriors 2, 1999. Law of the Jungle, 1942. Blake of Scotland Yard, 1937. Kansas City Confidential, 1952. The White Cannibal Queen, 1980. Windjammer, 1937. Swampfire, 1946. Police Story 4. Blood Ring, 1991. Hostile Country, 1950. Rotor. The Wrong Road, 1937. You Bet Your Life. Identity Unknown, 1945. Chain for Life, 1952. Untamed Women, 1952. Texas, Brooklyn, and Heaven, 1948. Beast from Haunted Cave, 1959. Moon of the Wolf, 1972. Showdown, 1990. I'm sorry, Hurricane Smith, 1992. Showdown, 1993. Best of the Best 2. TNT, 1997. My Dear Secretary, 1948. The Mystery Man, 1935. Bride of the Gorilla, 1951. Letter of Introduction, 1938. Dick Tracy versus the Mole, Season 1, Episodes 9 through 12. Devil's Island, 1939. Angel Town, 1990. Mercenary, 1996. Night Fright, 1967. Def Con 4, 1985. Santa Fe Trail, 1940. Renegade Girl, 1946. Passport for a Corpse, 1962. Black Dragons, 1942. Cyborg Cop, Cyborg Cop 2. Drums of the Desert, 1940. Santa Fe Trail, 1940. Shock, 1946. It Lives by Night. Train to Tombstone, 1950. Deputy Marshall, 1949. Broadway Limited, 1941. The Strange Woman, 1946. The Fighter, 1952. Bamboo Gods and Iron Man, 1974. Zero Tolerance. Ulterior Motives, 1992. The Big Chance, 1993. I'm sorry, 1933. The Big Chance, 1933. I'll See You in Hell, 1960. The Case of the Eiffel Tower. Sorry. Where were they? I just clicked on it on the video. Let me just close out and <laughs> scroll down again. Sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the mouse button. Going down. Uh, sorry. This is going to take a while. The cake. Oh. Forget about the case of the Eiffel Tower. I've already reviewed that Sherlock Holmes TV show. Uh, Hostile Country, 1950. Three Desperate Men, 1951. The Star Packer, 1934. The Devil's Hand, 1961. Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla. Talons of the Eagle. Riders of the Whistling Pines, 1949. Portraits of Terror, The Final Curtain. Safe and Effective. A Second Opinion, A Malibu Crush, uh, 2022, and Dead Tides, 1996. All right, that's the end of my list. Thanks for uh, sticking around. If you've uh, 
put up with me for the last five minutes or so. Thanks for that. Laters.